Your GPU might not be bottlenecked by your CPU or your RAM, it might actually be your PCI Express bus. Most people never touch PCIe settings, but here's the secret. Windows and your motherboard use conservative defaults that prioritize power saving and compatibility over raw latency. That means every time your GPU requests data across the PCIe bus, it can get stuck waiting in the queue, adding up to stuttering, frame time spikes, and even random FPS dips. Today, I'm going to show you how to unlock hidden PCIe latency settings, tune interrupt handling, and stop your system from artificially slowing down your GPU. This is one of those tweaks that separates casual PC users from the ones who squeeze every last drop of performance out of their rigs. Step 1. Check PCIe link speed and slot configuration. Before making tweaks, you need to confirm your GPU is actually running at full PCIe bandwidth. Many gamers unknowingly lose performance because their GPU is installed in the wrong slot, sharing lanes with M.2 SSDs, or being forced into low-power link states. Inspect PCIe bandwidth with GPU-Z. Download GPU-Z, free from Tech Power Up. Launch it and look at the bus interface field. Example, PCIe X16 4.0 at X16 1.1. The first part, X16 4.0, equals your GPU's maximum supported link. The second part, at X16 1.1, equals your current active link speed. If you see at X16 1.1 or at X8 3.0, that means your GPU is running at reduced bandwidth right now. Stress test PCIe scaling. In GPU-Z, click the little question mark, question mark, next to bus interface. Run the render test. Watch the bus interface field again. A healthy setup should scale up to X16 full speed. For example, PCIe X16 4.0 at X16 4.0. If it stays stuck at a lower mode, X8, X4, or even X1, you're already bandwidth starved. Common PCIe bottlenecks. Wrong slot placement. Many motherboards only wire the top slot as full X16. Lower slots are often X8 or X4. M.2 SSD lane sharing. Some boards cut your GPU down to X8 when NVMe drives are installed in certain slots. Dust or poor seating. A half-seated GPU can run at reduced lanes. Reseat it firmly until it clicks. BIOS PCIe setting. Some BIOSes default to Gen 3 for stability. If you have a Gen 4 GPU plus motherboard, enable PCIe 4.0 manually in BIOS. Step 2. Disable PCIe Power Saving Features, ASPM, and L1 substates. PCIe lanes are the highways your GPU, storage, and network cards use to communicate with your CPU. By default, Windows enables Active State Power Management, ASPM, and L1 substates to cut power usage when devices are idle. Great for laptops and battery life. Terrible for gaming, where even a few microseconds of wake-up latency can cause stutters, input lag, or frame time inconsistencies. Let's force PCIe lanes to stay fully active during gameplay. Part 1. Unlock hidden ASPM and L1 substate options. Windows hides these PCIe power controls in power options, but we can reveal them through the registry. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and hit Enter. Navigate to Look for these subkeys, PCIe Express ASPM and L1 substates. Inside each, find the attributes D word. Change its value from 1 to 0. This unhides the setting in your Windows Power Options. Part 2. Disable PCIe Power Management in Windows. Now that it's visible, let's turn it off completely. Open Control Panel, Power Options, select your active power plan, change plan settings, then 
Change Advanced Power Settings. Expand PCIe Express Link State Power Management. Set it to off, both on battery and plugged in if you're on a laptop. Step 3. Fix PCIe Latency Timers and Interrupt Handling. PCIe devices like GPUs, NVMe drives, and NICs rely on interrupt requests or IRQs to talk to the CPU. By default, Windows can batch or delay these interrupts to smooth load, but for gaming that means micro stutter and higher input lag. We'll tweak registry settings to force faster, real-time interrupt handling for your GPU. Locate your GPU in the registry. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and hit Enter. Navigate to 4D36F94. Expand this tree and you'll see folders like NVIDIA GPU, AMD GPU. If unsure, open Device Manager to Display Adapters, Properties, Details, Device Instance Path. Copy the string and match it to the right entry in the registry. Enable MSI mode and set priority. Inside your GPU's registry folder, device parameters, interrupt management, message signaled interrupt properties, create or modify these D word values. MSI supported is one, enables message signaled interrupts, which are faster and lower latency than legacy line-based interrupts. Priority equals one, sets GPU interrupts to highest priority. One equals high, two equals normal, three equals low. Optional message number limit. Some GPUs send multiple MSI messages. You can force a single queue for lower latency at the cost of raw throughput. Add message number limit equals one D word. This ensures the GPU sends only one interrupt message per request. If you see instability, delete this value. Apply and reboot. Close the registry editor, restart your PC, then open MSI Utility V3 if you have it to confirm your GPU is now in MSI mode and showing high priority. Step 4. Force PCIe to run at maximum throughput. Disable throttling. Even if you've disabled ASPM Active State Power Management, Windows and drivers can still clock PCIe lanes down dynamically to save power. That's fine for laptops, but in gaming it creates latency spikes every time the bus ramps up from idle to full speed. We'll lock PCIe into full throughput mode at all times. Unhide and disable ASPM in power options. Open CMD as administrator and run this. This forces Windows Power Options to show the PCIe ASPM setting and sets it to off permanently. Registry reinforcement for PCIe driver. Now let's kill PCIe idle throttling at the driver level. These three keys stop the Windows PCI driver from downshifting link speed in idle or light load scenarios. Restart your PC. Open GPU-Z Check the bus interface field. Run the render test, question mark next to bus interface. Your PCIe link should lock into max speed immediately and stay there without dipping back down when idle. Why this matters? Prevents menu to gameplay stutters when PCIe lanes suddenly reclock. Keeps GPU bus latency consistent during fast I.O. bursts like texture streaming or VRAM swaps. Crucial for high refresh monitors, 240 Hz plus, where even millisecond spikes are visible. Step 5. Verify PCIe latency improvements. Once all tweaks are applied, let's check if it worked. Open Latency Mon, a free tool. Before tweaks, you'll often see spikes in ndis.sys or dxgkrnl.sys caused by PCI bus delays. After tweaks, your system should report suitable for real-time audio and gaming with reduced ISR and DPC times. Run cap frame X during a game session. Watch for smoother frame time graphs with fewer spikes. Stutters that used to happen when switching maps, loading assets, or alt-tabbing should now be gone. 
bonus check. In GPU-Z, under Bus Interface, your GPU should always stay at its max negotiated speed while gaming. With these tweaks, your GPU now has a direct highway to your CPU and RAM. No more stoplights, no more traffic jams. And that's how you fix PCIe latency and stop your GPU from being bottlenecked by hidden bus settings. By disabling ASPM, tuning latency timers, enabling MSI interrupts, and forcing maximum link throughput, you've basically told Windows and your motherboard to stop treating your gaming PC like a laptop. The result? Lower input lag, smoother frame times, and full GPU bandwidth with no artificial throttling. If this guide helped, hit that like button, drop a comment with your GPU and motherboard model, and subscribe for more deep dive optimizations. Remember, most gamers focus only on drivers or in-game settings, but the real hidden performance is in Windows and PCIe itself. Unlock it and your games will feel instantly more responsive. Catch you in the next one.